This is it, our chance to see a volcano explode less than half a mile away from its crater. But things didn't necessarily go as expected. This is the part of the trip I'm most stoked about. Five minutes later. Oh my god! It is insane! It is 6.50 and we are heading to start our hike to Volcan Atancanango, which is a dormant volcano here in Antigua, Guatemala. And then we're gonna go watch some lava spewing from an active volcano called Fugo right next to it. Fuego. 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 Fuego, Fuego means fire, I think, in Spanish. Fire! Yeah. Which is a, an apt name for the an active volcano. We're hiking with this company called Weecho and Charlie, so we're just heading to their office to get set up and uh, maybe rent some gear. And more importantly, get breakfast, because they give us breakfast with this uh, tour. Uh, I love coffee. Mm -hmm. So, real talk though, Melissa has been coughing for the last like 10 days. I think I am recovering from bronchitis, unfortunately. No longer contagious, but the, the cough is uh, pretty persistent. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Right, here we go. I'll die, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. It's not competition. Enjoy. Have a good day. We were just dropped off, that's our bus. And uh, I don't know, this is gonna be one of Melissa and Richie's duds again <laughs> with the weather. It is very cloudy, very windy. We were talking about it being cold up there, it's already cold here. Need some more uh, gear on, so yeah. gear's going back on. Putting on more layers now. I was doubting that we would need uh, raincoats and stuff, but I actually think we're gonna need them. Very uh, fast. Yeah, looks like it's gonna get misty. Okay guys. So important the names of the two guys, okay? One more time. Elmer, Mauricio, Rudy, Nestor, Victor. Here we go. Here are some stats on the volcano hike. Fuego erupts every 15 to 20 minutes. To hike to base camp on Akatenango is 3,800 feet in elevation gain and takes about four hours to complete. Then, if you want to get close to Fuego's exploding crater, you hike for an additional three hours round trip from base camp. After one overnight, the sunrise hike to summit Akatenango takes another one and a half hours with an additional elevation gain of 1,600 feet. How you doing? Good. Actually, it's not too bad yet. I don't think I've ever heard Melissa say it's hard yet. Because when I say it's hard, then like, mentally, I just can't, can't. Like, grit through it, yeah. If everything is okay, or moderately challenging, I can get through it. It's a good way of thinking about it, right? Yeah. No traction here. Oh, super important, deep breaks. Oh, it's tough. Oh, the clouds come in. The clouds are just whipping through here. It's so cool because it's such like an eerie feel. And I'm very thankful that it is cool and cloudy today because otherwise we would be sweating. We're roughly about half hour in. We're kind of going through the single channel walkway with barbed wires on both sides. There's a lot of traffic on this route, so we have to kind of give way to people coming down. But we're doing good. I feel like we haven't stopped all that much yet. I'm proud of us. Me too. Well, he does sell you a Corona if you are really into it. Picota Cuesta? Corona? Okay. We got the Gallo Corona Powerade, which I have. Oh. It just told us we can go inside. Oh wow, okay. Let's 
see if I fit. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Look at this, it's a whole tree. And you can be inside of a tree. You can see all of our tall people out there. <laughs> We're ooh, okay. time are we on? What is it? Oh, 50 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've now entered this really green forest. Almost like a rainforest. Yeah. It's very wet. We're slowly making our way up. Being out of breath. Oh, I think we have made it to the registration area. Look at this. Look at all the countries. Interestingly, more cerveza stops. Now we're in the land of switchbacks. And it's starting to rain a little bit. Every time a flat part comes, I'm so happy. Oh man. Switchbacks are a glut killer. You don't get these views at home. Always remember, you can always do what you thought you couldn't do. Just take one step at a time, and you'll get there. And take breaks. Hi, yay, yay. At this stop, we found this uh, little alcohol bottle. Yeah. It's called Queza Alteca, 17%. With tamarind, though. So. Alcohol, huh? It's good? Climbing? Yeah? <laughs> this has got like five dogs waiting for food. Wow. Four dogs. Hi, guys. So patient, too. So, we have finished two out of the four parts of the hike, so this is part number three. Yeah, so we heard one more hour of uphill and then an hour of flat, and then we should be at base camp. Yes! I think we are getting our bags here to carry to base camp, so we're gonna have one on the front and one on the back. It's one of these red bags, it's ours. We just don't know which red bag. The lunch of champions, pasta with beans or something. You finish yours? Yeah. <laughs> it's all gone. I was so hungry. <laughs> Food rating 10 on 10. <laughs> Amazing food. This part of our hike is called Packing Heavy. Taking a reset break from the backpack. Or you feel lighter? Yeah. Yet another fireplace. Great way to warm your hands. Yeah. They're so cold. I know, they're like my fingers are. Almost gone. <laughs> Final stretch to base camp should only really be like 15 minutes from here, uphill. Hopefully. That's what my map says. <laughs> so, if the map is wrong, I'm gonna suffer. You see this? We made it. You see these tents? We made it. Oh my goodness. Woohoo! Hallelujah! Gracias! Oh, we made it. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Well, it feels like that now. Yeah, 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 no, but even then, it really wasn't. It was hard, but it wasn't. Um, it wasn't impossible. Oh, I am seeing. Come out! I know. Oh, you're there. Yeah, I know. So close. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. That's like the best so far. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you could see it if it explodes right now. 
little cabin Whew. on the mountain. That was the hardest part of the hike. Oh, look at this. Yeah. It is so cute and cozy. Oh, I'm so out of breath. Whew. Well, it seems like we have a nice foam mattress, a sleeping bag, some additional blankets, pillows. Pillows, oh, okay. Honestly, I'm like, people said they didn't sleep well up here. I think I'm gonna sleep great. This seems super comfortable. Good night. Good night. <laughs> so we've already done the hike to base camp and we've already burned 1200 calories plus, but we're going to do a little extra hiking today and go out to Fuego. We're gonna be able to see, I think, the mouth of the volcano, see uh, an eruption up close and personal. I'm super excited, because this is the first time today that it has been this clear, and I think we're gonna get really good views. Look at how clear that is. Everybody makes more dust than Melissa Hansen. <laughs> and she goes down. That's right. Making dust in 1990. So, that's to say this truck is now without some risk. <laughs> the uphill starts here. The yeah, final so ascent towards Fuego. You gotta go all the way up there. It looks tough. And we've been already hiking for five hours, so this will be another two hours up, two hours down. Well, we'll be back like around 9 p.m. My body feels we are 50% of the way up. Halfway. It is hard. It's tough. It's tough. But and our guide. It's very windy. This is the part of the trip I'm most stoked about. Let's see some bubble. Bubble. Okay, I gotta stand up. Morning, everyone. We left you on a little bit of a cliffhanger yesterday with our experience at the uh, top of the hill next to Fuego. Tonight we climbed up there, right somewhere around that ridge. We made it back. We kind of slept, and are now just taking in the sunrise views. It's really beautiful. hike back yesterday was really tough, which is probably why we didn't record any of it. It was also at night, so you couldn't really see much. Um, but oh my gosh, the hike to Fuego was crazy. And then the hike back was just like, oh, I like almost wanted to like sit down and just call it quits at one point. But we made it, they fed us, and we were much happier after that. That's true. This is how much dust. I've gotten from that volcano. Volcano problems. Got a lot of iron on my magnetic AirPods. Science. 
science. We're saying goodbye to our little camp and going back down for breakfast. In an hour, we will be hiking back to town. You just gotta be careful here because uh, lava ash is very slippery. But as you can see, the sun is shining. Unlike yesterday. Oops, I almost fell. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. If you like videos like this, please hit that subscribe button down here. And ring that bell so you don't miss any of our future adventures. And that is all I could, words I could come out of my mouth right now. We love you all. <laughs>